Today's action really is designed to ensure that the contractors we hire here at the county, uh, the janitorial staff who is here, the landscapers, the security personnel, uh, to make sure that they get a competitive wage package, health benefits, sick days, to make sure they have better workplace protections and proper training. Uh, the, prop, the proposal includes a first-of-its-kind uh, wage theft fund in which a portion of contract award is withheld from the contractor and will only be released pending no wage claim thefts made during the life of the contract. I really appreciate tremendously uh, all of the workers in our county, and we work really hard to do right by them. Uh, but in particular, I want to say a special thank you to a group of workers who often feel unseen. Uh, that's our janitorial staff, uh, our landscaping staff, our security staff. We appreciate you, and we recognize you, and we see the value that you bring, uh, but we know that our words alone are not enough. Uh, we need to take action to make sure that you get paid fairly, uh, to make sure that you have good worker protections, to make sure you have the basic dignity of paid sick days and other benefits that workers throughout our county have had for so long. We know during the height of so much of the pandemic and everything we went through, uh, you all continued to show up. You continued to work. You continued to make sure our facilities were clean, uh, responsible, safe, uh, and you continue to do everything that we asked you to do. Uh, and so we're here today to take some action to uh, try and recognize that and put in place some structural changes uh, to help ensure that we're doing right by workers who work so incredibly hard uh, for us. I think it's a, a small step forward, a pretty significant step forward uh, in terms of what we're doing, uh, and it's something that I believe uh, it is long overdue.